Andrew and I grew up in Kingfisher, and we came to the Skookum Chuck every summer on a paddling trip, and then we just got to wanting to own property in BC somewhere. And we love paddling at the Skook, so we decided to move here. Uh, we're building our house from scratch. It's about a kilometer and a half from the wave. Um, it's boat access property only, so the only way to get here is actually by boat. Probably 90% of the material that makes up the house actually came from the lot itself. And the foundation came from the gravel pit about five kilometers down the road. Our neighbors helped us so much. They dropped the trees for us and then Drew ran the machine and a friend of ours lent us the machine so we've had so much help building it. Once the logs were all decked up then it was kind of our job to put them on the mill and a bandsaw mill then milled them into dimensional lumber. So all our headers, all the beams in the house are all going to be wood from the lot. We don't have any power at our, at our house we're building. We have a creek there which provides us with drinking water. We have a line that runs down the mountain. And we're looking into our options that we get for power supply, whether it be solar, hydro, or wind. We've done the bulk of the work from the house, just ourselves. The most help we've had probably is a friend of ours who's lent us his excavator. Without that excavator, we'd probably be living in a teepee. <laughs> Uh, we really enjoy the property here because it's so close to the water. I mean, there's great fishing at our doorstep, great scuba diving, and just hanging out here is, it's unlike any other place. It's, it just feels like it's a national park. It's so pristine. And the fact that we have the wave just at our doorstep is it's just an extra bonus. So most kayakers coming to the, to the Skookum Chuck Rapids, first thing they have to do is drive to the ferry terminal um, get on the ferry, and then from the ferry it's probably about an hour and a half drive to the actual trail. And then from the trail it's about a 40-45 minute hike in. We get lucky though because we live here already, which exnays the whole ferry riding thing. And we have a boat here, so we get a little bit of horsepower action to get us to the wave. It's a 10 minute boat ride compared to a 40 minute hike, so we're the envy of all the kayakers. It's really neat to watch the, the full cycle of the waveform. At slack tide, the water is dead calm, and you can just watch it, it slowly starts to, to come in. And you'll see it at first, it's just slow moving water, and then you'll watch the first wave, it's just a ripple, and it just gradually gets bigger and bigger. And on, like, on certain tides, the wave will get so big that it just kind of flattens out. And Drew will jump in the glass boat and you have to watch him glass boat surf for like 15 minutes <laughs> and then slowly the wave will come back in and then the play boats can get back out there again and enjoy the down session. <laughs>